the human habitation of Ronva dates back to the Mesolithic period, about 6,000 years ago. But before the discovery of coal seams in the early 1800s, Penrhys, situated on a hillside overlooking the valleys, 1,100 foot above sea level, was the area's main attraction. Penrhys takes its name from the Welsh king Rhys Ap Tudor, the last of the ancient kings of South Wales who ruled the reach of the Hyberth, which is basically modern West Wales from 1075. But for this privilege, he paid the ruling Normans £40 a year. In 1093, then 80 years of age, he lost a battle with Justin Ap Gwyrint at Brecon. fled to the hills of Astrid of Vodum, where he was cornered and beheaded. The place of his death was thus given the name Pen Rhys. His body was buried close to the Ron the Vaur River at Anis Craig. His head was kept in Cardiff Museum until it mysteriously disappeared in 1976. The only clue to its possible whereabouts comes from a photograph of a stone bearing an as yet undeciphered inscription. It was found on Mani de Eglois near Penrhys in 2012. The Ronda Archaeological and Historical Society has given it the name the Blodwen Run after the lady who found it. It is without doubt the most exciting unanswered question surrounding Penrhys. Penrhys is also famous for a number of other reasons. A Cistercian monastery was built by Robert of Gloucester in the 12th century in honour of Rhys Ap Tudor's memory. Many pilgrims who visited from all over Europe to sample the waters from the healing spring of Funnan Vair or St Mary's Well, which was said to cure a range of ailments from paralysis to blindness to simple fatigue. It is the oldest Christian monument in Ronda, although the healing spring was used by pagans before that time. There is no trace left of the monastery, but Ronda Council restored the well in 1939. Medieval Chapel This was built following the discovery of a wooden effigy of the Virgin Mary holding an infant baby Jesus in a split oak tree. The idol was immovable, so they built a chapel around it. The statue and shrine were taken by Oliver Cromwell on September 26, 1538, as part of Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries. It was taken to Chelsea and burned. A modern version carved from Portland stone built in 1953, stands in the ruins of the old chapel. Let's see them try to move that, eh? The smallpox hospital, built on three acres of land bought by the council from Penrhys Isav Farm in 1907 to serve both run the valleys at a cost of £35,000. It was the centre of the 1962 smallpox outbreak in South Wales. The hospital was burnt down by the fire service in 1971 to destroy all the viruses, although the contaminated land is still deemed unsafe to this very day. In 1968, Penrhys became an award-winning social housing development, at the time the largest in Wales, with 951 residences. However, it was quickly upset by urban unrest. After much demolition, plans are now afoot to regenerate Penrhys. Growth, decay, regeneration. Evolutionary patterns which can be observed across many around the communities. A heritage created, forgotten, reimagined, and misremembered.